Hello, Joey Gates here. Um, I've been using this program called Rebel, and it's by Escape Motions. Escape Motions, I think, is the name of the company. It hasn't been around very long. I think they're working on, I think they're past version 1.5 right now. And um, it's interesting because of the way it deals with wet media simulation when it comes to digital painting. Uh, there are several different approaches. Photoshop has its own way. Corel Painter has its own way. Um, what's interesting about this one is uh, it really tries to do a good job with simulating how watercolor inter interacts with paper and with different textures. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, over here you have up at the top you have your um, your brush palette or your, your brush lineup here. Um, different kinds of effects that you can have um, as you work. Uh, down here is your, looks like your, your brush preferences and settings as well as textures. Over here you have your tilt and your color and down here your layers palette. Um, the interesting thing that this has is when, let's go ahead and choose the watercolor brush and I'm going to pick a red. I'm going to load the brush with water uh, I'm going to load it 100% as well. Pressure, I'm going to leave that that. I'm going to make the size. Um, it doesn't really let you go, I don't think it lets you go any bigger than this. Um, but I think that's due to the fact that the amount of simulation that it has to do uh, is actually quite processor intensive. So you can see the way it's, it is bleeding not only into the paper, but also into the wet paint itself of the previous one. I have the tilt turned this way. I'm going to turn it back over here. Let's see, is that down or up? Now it'll be down. So you can see how this is completely loaded with water and loaded with paint. So it's going to do that. Now this blow feature over here is going to allow me to blow that paint. Um, and <laughs> as it's blowing, it is also, in fact, drying, which really just kind of blows my mind. Now, if I want to dry the whole layer right now, I can choose this option here to dry the layer. Now the layer is dry. Um, so now when I create another, let's, uh, when I do another stroke here, Okay, let's dry this like that. So it instantly stops what's going on. Now if I pull back the water, uh, you can see that it does not, you know, it seems like it saturates into the paper, but the dripping isn't, isn't nearly as much. If I turn down the loading, let's go ahead and dry this turn down the loading yeah let's see if I turn the water all the way down <laughs> let's go ahead and dry the whole canvas or draw the whole paper okay so let's try okay so I'm I've been exploring this for a while just to kind of see exactly how I would use this in terms of illustrating things. So the other the other thing that you can do, it looks like, is you can make the whole layer wet. So let's say let's turn loading is let's choose a darker color. Okay, you can see I don't have, I have loading on there, but I have only 1% water. So it looks like it's going to, you know, interact with the paper, but it's not going to bleed very much. Um, if I make the layer wet, which you can do with this option, then it has kind of like a different, effect. It's like, oh, the paper's wet, so we're going to go ahead and and uh, let's let's put up 
the loading more. And if I turn on water, yeah, so this is just extremely fun to play with. It has a, a feel that is a lot like a lot like watercolor. Uh, the hard edges where it dries around the edges is typically harder. The pigments, almost I almost feel like I see pigments in in the edges of the of where it's drying, but I know that can't be the case, right? All right. So, what other features? Um, so we have the ability to dry and blow in a particular direction. If you don't want, to, you know, you can also determine which way you want things to run if your media is really wet. Um, when it comes to picking up the texture of the paper, I'm going to go ahead and choose this um, a pencil. Now when I turn up the pressure, you can see that it's it's hard to tell exactly what kind of paper texture it's on. Let's adjust the paper texture. I'm going to choose something over here that's like a Let's choose this burlapy one here and make sure that the let's turn down the scale but make sure the visibility is there. Let's go a little more down. Okay. So you can see how it's picking up. Now I'm pressing pretty hard. Now if I just lightly go Look how it's just it's just picking up picking up the the paper texture. I'm gonna go down a little further. Yeah. Very cool. I think it's a very cool feature. Let's see what else is there. I think that's mostly the the main thing I wanted to show is just the fact that we can um well, they have an acrylic brush here as well. Now they have other features, uh, blending features, um, uh, they have a dirty brush or a clean brush so that you it keeps it clean in between strokes and others it allows it to to get dirty as you're as you're working. Um, they've got the they've been doing a lot of work on this um, being able to zoom in and rotate as you work that's very important to me um, and they've been able to to get that to feel feel really nice and natural and uh, let's go with I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make the layer wet first I'm gonna dry it now I'm going to make it wet. Let's choose a different color. Let's choose this green right up here. Now when you blow this, watch what it watch what the paint does. You can actually see, I'm going to zoom in. Oh, let me do it again. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, my tilt is obviously going that way. Is that down or up? That's up. Okay, let's go that way. Okay, now let's blow that. Oops. Are we dry already? I think we're dry already. Acrylic. It always dries super fast. There we go. Look how it's picking up the paper texture as part of the drying process as well. Anyway, um, super impressive. I would, you know, I would imagine that it's only going to get better as time goes on. But I wanted to share that with everyone. So I am drawing on the paint with the pencil and it's not giving me the paper texture because the paint is too thick. <laughs> I 
That is just, that just blows my mind. So it really is looking at this as like, well, your paint's too thick. That, therefore, we're not going to give you the, the paper texture, which is what would, you know, which is what would happen in real life as well. That is very interesting. Okay, that is that. So the program is called Rebel, and uh, the company that makes it is called Escape Motions. You can find it by doing a Google search. I'm not, I'm not a spokesperson, although I have been working with them as uh, um, with their service department in regards to this. And they've been responding back to my comments and feedback, and I really appreciate that. Um, but give it a shot, see if you like it.